The Cherenkov Telescope Array, the CTA for short, is going to detect gamma rays that are coming towards the Earth. When it is completed in 2024, it is going to be made up of over 100 telescopes. But why do we need lots of big telescopes looking for gamma rays? Scientists need them to look at what produces gamma rays in the universe. They want to see objects like this, 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 and this, and take cool pictures of them. These are not the first telescopes of their kind. Here is a picture of an old telescope called Hegra from the 80s, but the new ones will hugely advance the capability of gamma ray detection. The telescopes that make up the array are called Cherenkov telescopes and actually detect Cherenkov lights. Cherenkov light is produced when gamma rays enter the atmosphere and interact with it. They produce a cascade of electrons and positrons, which are travelling faster than light in the atmosphere, and this releases the Cherenkov light. By tracing back the Cherenkov light, scientists can observe the gamma rays. This Cherenkov light is extremely faint and rare, so how do we detect it? The Cherenkov telescopes have a large curved surface which is made up of small hexagonal mirrors. These are responsible for collecting the Cherenkov light and focusing it at a camera, which the mirrors are pointed towards. The camera needs to detect extremely quick flashes of Cherenkov light, as the flashes only last for a few billionths of a second, which is pretty quick. The camera needs to detect these rapid flashes on the hexagonal mirrors and it does this by having an extremely short exposure. We need a short exposure as the Cherenkov light can be overpowered by normal, non-Cherenkov background light. The telescopes can only be used at night because at night there is less background light. When Cherenkov light is reflected from the hexagonal mirrors into the camera, it is converted into an electrical signal. The electrical signals from lots of telescopes can then be used to trace back the Cherenkov light to show where the gamma rays came from. By working out where all the gamma rays in space are coming from, it will allow scientists to achieve fantastic pictures of gamma ray producing objects.